Let's try one last one with distributing a fraction. 6y plus 8 minus 6 plus 2p. So we have a lot of things in play here. We have fractions, we have distributing, we have order of operations, and we have combining like terms. So I'm going to distribute this to each. So remember that when multiplying numbers, a whole number, if I were to do a half times 6, I could put the 6 over a 1, making it a fraction, and 1 times 6 is 6 over 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this simplifies to 3. And look what's with the 6, a y. So it's going to be 3y. Plus, let's think about this 8 here. A half times 8, which I can put over a 1. 1 times 8 is 8 on top. 2 times 1 is 2 on the bottom. And then to simplify, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4. And we have no variable. Now I'm going to recopy everything because we're done with the distributing. Minus 6 plus 2p. Now let's go through and collect our like terms. Well, I see a 4 and a negative 6, and that's it for like terms because these variable factors do not match. But let's go ahead and put them in um, to um, write them into the final answer, what we've simplified. And generally, algebra, algebraic expressions have the terms written in alphabetical order. So I'm going to start with the 2p, then plus the 3y, you've those up, crossing them out, and then I have 4 minus 6. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. And so now I've simplified it as much as I can, and sometimes you can't simplify it anymore and you'll have to leave it. Uh, make sure that you don't combine terms when they're not like terms. So they need to have all the same variable terms. And in this case, there are no more like terms and I'm just going to leave my answer like this. Thank you for watching educator.com.